having a ball today. A Faroan ball. I'm talking about not just any Faroan ball paint color. It's one of my favorite off-whites in their entire collection. It also has a pretty outstanding name. I'm talking about none other than James White. Hey. This is a light neutral paint color that you really need to consider for your next paint project. I'm not saying you need to go and buy a couple gallons of it right this second. Just hear me out first, see if it vibes with you. But not only am I going to tell you what you need to know about this paint color, I've also put together an entire color palette based around it, consisting of three other wall colors and two trim colors that you can use inside your home. There's something really fun about this paint color, and my loyal subscribers watching will know exactly what that is. I'll get to it in a second. But let's start off on a positive note with a little press of that like button for me so we can start talking about color. James White sits in the off-white category of colors, and hint, hint, I came to this conclusion largely based on the name alone. We can tell that it's light. We don't know exactly how light though, because normally with other paint companies, each one will have its respective LRV for each color, the light reflectance value. And this tells us the percentage of light that any color reflects. Basically, the closer a paint color is to 100, the more white or light it will appear. And just based on comparing James White to other colors that I'm familiar with, my best guess would be that it's around an 80 LRV, which puts it in the top 20% of lightness when it comes to colors. And from my experience, that is light enough to feel like a true off-white or even pure white in very specific lighting conditions and circumstances. Now you do have other colors that are tagged as being off-white, like this color, which is part of the off-white collection by Benjamin Moore, but it's clearly much darker than James White. So long story short, this color is light. So if you are looking for something pretty nice and bright, that's what you have here. What you're also going to get is a uniquely warm green undertone. This color combines green with the lightest beige. It almost has a creamy warmth to it. And what do you get when you combine green and beige? Say it with me, y'all. Green age. I really gravitate towards green undertones within neutral paint colors these days, largely because it's just different, especially from the more traditional yellow-based warmth that we see in grayish or even red-based taupes, which I also like, but green just takes things into a different direction. And I feel green undertones really excel when they're intentional. Unintentional green undertones are the worst because you don't expect them to be there until you paint your whole house with them. James White, on the other hand, just feels balanced. Everything has clarity to it for me, making it a really refreshing and soothing coloration. There is tranquility that naturally comes with green, and that's not often found in an off-white like this. Normally you would just go with an actual green, like sage or something, or an olive green. I could see James White being a main color that you can use in your front foyer and your hallway, and that may surprise some of you because green can be tricky, but I see more and more people embracing much more vibrant colors anyway. So James White should be a cakewalk for some of you. It's off white after all. It's also much easier to work with green undertone neutrals like this when you have other more obvious greens in the form of dark green accented furniture and even plants. And what's cool is James White's green doesn't really have a strong pull towards cool or warm necessarily, which means it sort of fits both molds at the same time. I can go on all day about this color, but why don't we talk about some of the other colors that I picked to go with it. And also, if you're having fun watching me ramble about color, I invite you to press the subscribe button so you can stay up to date with our six videos every single week all about painting and decorating. Color content factory over here. The first color I wanna talk about is Old White, which is described as a historic gray green but it almost has less green than James White. In fact, I get more of a mid-tone beige mixed with gray, and in that combination, you get a somewhat green appearance without actually being categorized to me as a green if that makes sense. It is interesting how colorants mixed together can create colors that you may not expect. And Old White is one of those more traditional mid-tone warm neutrals that can cool down in north-facing rooms, for example. But no matter what exposure you're dealing with, no matter which direction your windows are facing, it's gonna be a great fit alongside James White. The next color we have is Downpipe, which is going to be the dramatic color of the bunch. And even though it appears to be a simple dark gray, I sort of equate it to the color of lead and in very rare cases can appear a little bit greeny as well. But for the most part, however, you'll probably notice a blue undertone more often than not, which is loosely related to green, but will more so be that darky, punchy standout color that you can use to 
accentuate certain aspects of your home. Downpipe is very popular on doors, both in and out of the home. You could theoretically throw it on your frames and your baseboards as well, but we'll get to some other trim colors that I prefer later on. The third wild color I wanna talk about is a deepening of James White in a way where we have more of that fresh green quality coming through prominently. And it's from the California collection presented by Kelly Wurstler, which is an awesome curated color palette in the Fairwell Ball line. And the color is called Palm. It's described as a fresh green, which is a love letter to the iconic palms that dot the LA skyline. And my sister lives out in LA, so I do have a big soft spot for that city. Love you, Annie. But if I put this color next to James White, something really interesting happens. James White looks a little closer to off-white rather than that greeny beige coloration we know it has, and that's because of Palm's more apparent saturation. So essentially, you can think about using this color when you want more of that green, but still have that truly light, fresh, uplifting quality instead of going with a green that's much darker and moodier. We got our wall colors taken care of. Let's discuss some trim options. And my first choice for light baseboards would be all white, which is Pharaoh and Ball's bright, stark white choice. I kind of think you want to go as bright as you can on the trim here because James White is already light to begin with. So if you want to notice a lightness difference between your walls and your baseboards, then all white would be your best choice here. As for a darker trim color, you could opt for a dark mid-tone gray green like Pigeon. It sort of sits in the same family as James White, but will give you a nice amount of contrast that you'll really notice with any of these colors really. So that would be my pick for a dark trim color. Here's the palette all together. Let me know what you think. Do you love Pharaoh and Ball? Well, here's another color by the same company because why not? Let's keep it rolling. <laughs>